let us deal with the second block of learning process that is constants. How to identify a constant, what are the constants and what are the types of constants which are used in C language. When I say constant, whenever I write any mathematical expression, we definitely come across constants. If I were to verbally explain a constant, if I write a mathematical expression say x plus y equals to 20, 20 is said to be a constant, whereas x and y are called as variables. If I rewrite the same mathematical expression as x plus y equals to 20.0, probably for me x plus y equals to 20 and x plus y equals to 20.0 will not have any difference. But C language will definitely identify these two as separate constants. 20 is identified as an integer constant and 20.0 is identified as a floating or a real constant. So it means that when I am supposed to provide an input, we always provide with some values. When I write a mathematical expressions, we write some numbers and those numbers are nothing but constants. A quantity which does not change during the execution of a program. As a program proceeds, if the quantity does not change, we call that quantity as a constant. What are types of constants in C language? Basically, we have two types of constants. As you can observe at this place, we have primary constants and we have secondary constants. Primary constants are the one which we will be using in our basic programs like integer constant, floating point or real constant, character constant and string constants. The secondary constants are high end chapters or the later contents of C language. I have just listed some of the examples of arrays, structures, unions, files and so on and so on. The list continues with this particular secondary constants. In the initial stage, let us avoid discussing these secondary constants. We will concentrate more on these integer constants. Now whenever I give any input, my input will be numeric or non-numeric. Numeric in the sense it will be either integer or floating point or real. And if it has to be non-numeric, it has to be character or string constant. Now let us take up the first type of constant that is integer constant. Now the integer constant at this place in C language can be further classified into three categories. We have three types of integer constants, decimal constant, octal integer constant and hexadecimal integer constant. When I say constant, a constant will consume some memory. What amount of memory does an integer constant consume? It consumes two bytes of memory that is 16 bits of memory. How to identify a constant in C language? How to write whether it will be a decimal or octal or hexadecimal? It all depends upon what are the various numbers which are used in this range. If I have a set of numbers represented from 0 to 9 or if a constant is represented using digits from 0 to 9, we call that as integer constant. If a constant is just made up of 0 to 7, we call that as an octal integer constant. If I have 0 to 9, A to F, in that case we call that as hexadecimal constant. Basically, when I say decimal, this is to the base 10. When I say octal, this is to the base 8. And when I say hexadecimal, this is to the base 16. Basically, your base indicates how many numbers this system can use. For example, I have decimal as base 10, so there will be 10 unique digits to form a constant. I have octal as base 8, which means that it will have 8 unique digits. Count the digits from 0 to 7, it will be 8 unique digits. And when I have 16, it will have 16 unique digits. Hence, we use numbers in the first part. So they will have 10 numbers altogether. If I write 10, it will be again a combination of previous. But as per the number system, it should contain 16 unique digits. Hence, what I'll do is I can't use digits further, I'll be using alphabets A, B, C, D, E and F. How do I identify a digit? Suppose if I write a number say 12, 1, 2 is a combination of 0 to 9. Even 12 is a valid number in octal. Even 1, 2 is a valid number in hexadecimal. How system will understand, how your C program will understand whether I have quoted a decimal 
whether I have quoted an octal or whether I have quoted a hexadecimal. If I'm writing under this section, probably you will understand that this is an octal. But how C language identifies this? For that, what we'll do is we'll put a rule called as first digit rule. If the first digit is non-zero, in that case, it will be called identified as a decimal number. If I were to write a 12 in octal, what I'll do is I'll use the first digit as zero. This in a hexadecimal, what we'll do is we'll quote zero x at this place. It means that the first digit is non-zero, which means it is decimal. If the first digit is zero, it means that it is octal and the first digit is 0x, it will be called as a hexadecimal number. Now, there are some more rules which you are supposed to remember to identify constants. Sign. Should a number be preceded by a sign always? No, not necessary. So, we will say may or may not be present. A sign may or may not be present in any of these constants. Special characters, as we have said, special characters are the characters which are there on the keyboard but neither alphabets nor digits. These special characters not allowed in any of these number systems. They should not be used in any of these systems. When I say a number, any number will not be called as a valid integer constant until and unless it is within a specific limits. For that, what we do is we identify range. As I said, an integer constant is having a memory of 2 bytes, which means 16 bits. When I say 16 bits, you can write a number as small as minus 2 to the power of 15, 2, 2 to the power of 15 minus 1, which comes to minus 3, 2, 7, 6, 8, 2 plus 3, 2, 7, 6, 7. Since most of our programs, most of our examples will be dealing with the decimal integer constants, we will we'll be identifying only the range at this place. You can even calculate the octal range as well as hexadecimal range. So basically, we have three types of constants. First constant is decimal integer constant, second is octal integer constant and hexadecimal integer constant. If I had to write octal integer constant, it will be said as first digit is non-zero, digits made up of 0 to 9. To formally define a decimal integer constant, a number which starts with a non-zero number but consists of a combination of 0 to 9, we call that as a decimal integer constant. If the first digit is 0, followed by digits from 0 to 7, we call that as octal integer constant. If the first digit is 0x, followed by digits from 0 to 9, a to f, we call that as hexadecimal integer constant. Now, this can be 0 capital X, 0 small x. But do remember that this is 0. Sign may or may not be present, special characters not allowed, and range should be well within this particular range. So, let me tie some example of these integer constants. For example, suppose if I write 523, we will call this as a decimal integer constant. This is very much valid and this is called as a decimal integer constant. Let me write integer constant as IC. Suppose if I write 523 in octal, in that case what I'll do is I'll say 0, 5, 2, 3. This is again a valid example of writing octal integer constant. If I write this number in hexadecimal, then I'll be saying 0, x, 5, 2, 3. We can have various types of constants in this. Now, what should not be used? Suppose if I write a number as plus minus 523, this is invalid. You can't use a plus or minus symbol because this is an invalid character. So, the reason which I specify for saying this as invalid number is invalid plus or minus character. So, we can have various constants with these examples. So basically, we have decimal integer constant with non-zero, we have octal integer constant with zero, we have hexadecimal integer constants with zero x. So invalid if anyone who boycotts or, or changes the rules which we have specified for constants, it will be called as an invalid constant. Thank you.